right, first stop on our Chicago food tour. No, it's not going to be McDonald's. Everybody says you got to stop at Portillo's hot for a hot dog. Guess we got to come all the way over here. Gonna go inside and get ourselves a Chicago hot dog because this is its own institution. So let's go get it. This is pretty cool. You know what this reminds me of? If you're ever in uh, New York, New York, in Vegas, the casino, this is what it looks like when you get to the restaurant. So looks pretty cool here. I'm gonna order a dog and maybe a few other things and we'll see how that looks. So this isn't my first trip to Chicago, but this is my first trip, trip to Portillo's. Um, and they always say, you gotta come here for your Chicago style hot dog. Well, not overly impressed so far. Uh, so what we, what we ordered was a uh, garden hot dog. And I, so I ordered, I said, I need one garden hot dog, which is their version of vegetarian, and a regular beef one. And they gave me a beef sandwich. So not only did they screw up the order, but they weren't exactly the most pleasant while we were waiting there for 22 minutes to get these two items while everyone around us got their food, the people before us, the people after us. 22 minutes for a little for fast food, not really impressed. But hey, I'm gonna take a bite so at least you get the full experience. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. But the best I can give this visit is a six, at most, because I'm sorry, I'm hungry and waiting 22 minutes after the order. That's not including waiting in line to place the order, but 22 minutes for this, not too great about that. And the attitude at the counter, you guys can do better, I know you can. But the food, it's all right. So, on to the next stop. Now the next stop on our trip, some might consider this the biggest step, the biggest institution when it comes to the food game in Chicago, and that is the Chicago deep dish pizza. And depending on who you ask, one of these top three are gonna come up. You're gonna have Giordano's, you're gonna have Luminaldi's, and you're gonna have the quads coming up in a conversation. So I know I've had Giordano's, I was so full, I was so happy with that pizza, but I got nothing to base it against because that's the only one out of those three that I've had until now. Got ourselves a reservation here at the quads. We'll let you know how this one goes. I hear very good things. Alright, the pizzas just came out and they look amazing. It's a little dark in here, so I'm going to use my trusty little other phone here to get some video. Oh, look at these. There's some deep dish pizza going on here. Perfectly caramelized crust like they're famous for. I got pepperoni and sausage over here. We got a vegetarian. And over here we got Orlando. He's been awesome. Sit in his section when you show up. But anyways, we're going to eat this and get you some... Uh, get you some information back on how awesome this is. Like I said, it's dark in here. I don't want to piss everybody else off with the light. But I'm going to go for this. I ain't even going to cut this, all right? Oh, man, look at this monster. Mm. I'm going to make a mess. All right, all right, so that experience was great. Uh, unlike a few other places so far, this one, the service was excellent. I'm serious, hit up Orlando when you're here. Uh, how would I rate that? Oh, that's kind of tough. I don't like ever trying to figure out which is a first place, which is a second place. All I can tell you is this is a place you definitely have to stop at, whether you live in Chicago or you are just visiting. So, I'm, I'm not going to bother saying which is the best I've ever had, but I'll tell you right now, the crust here is awesome, the sauce is amazing, and the toppings are fresh. So, if that decides whether you're going to eat here, eat here. So, that is my official statement on Piquot's uh, Chicago deep dish style pizza. 
All right, day two here in Chicago. Uh, I'm not gonna let that experience at Portillo's uh, set us back any. So today we're gonna be trying Devil Dog for a famous Chicago hot dog. Take two. Hope this one's a little better, a little better experience. We don't carry negativity, we just like food. Let's go get some food. You know what's gotta be good? Anthony Bourdain ate here. No, that's not Jeffrey Epstein. Much better experience. People in there, incredibly friendly. It only took about six minutes from order to getting the food, and they even look better. So again, we're over at Devil Dogs. Look at these. That's a veggie dog. Over here, I got my Chicago-style beef hot dog. Let's try this one out. Oh yeah, oh that's good. That's how a hot dog should be. I like that. So yeah, do not hesitate to come back to Devil Dogs. Probably gonna walk here tomorrow and try something else on that list, but this is your straight up Chicago style hot dog. So you gotta always know where you're starting from before you get any of the fancier stuff. Maybe next time a little spicier, but as far as a basic Chicago hot dog, Devil Dog, they're, they're doing it right. All right, so we're back at finding the best deep dish pan pizza in Chicago. And you know this name is gonna come up every time you ask. It's Lou Malnati's. So I'm gonna go in there, we're gonna get some deep dish pizza action going on. We'll show you what we get, and then we'll rate it when we're done. So we just picked our pizzas up from Lou Malnati's on Michigan. Uh, lady up at the front, maybe wasn't in the best mood. I don't know, maybe the people in front of us put her in a sour mood but that was maybe not the best way to say hi to people uh, everybody else in there super friendly place smells amazing and we've got our pies right here Ooh. It seems like Fort Knox trying to get into them so here we have I think it's called the Lou it's a vegetarian looks delicious but that ain't mine well, I got the classic Chicago, which looks like the most incredible mess ever. I'm going to make a huge, gigantic mess. I don't even remember what's on there. I think it's just like sausage and cheese and tomatoes and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, that sauce is good. Alright, time to make a mess. They nicely cut these, I think. Sorry, I keep looking at the wrong side of the camera. Oh, it's just cut in half. So I'm still gonna make a mess. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. And they have what they're very proud to call a butter crust. So, oh. oh. Okay, I swear, I don't know how anyone can pick a number one. Like I said, I've been to Giordano's. We went to Pequod's. This is Lou Malnati's on Michigan. Wow. I'd hate to be the person that has to make the decision on which one is the best. Because none of these I would send back. Put it that way. Obviously, look at the way I look. Do I look like I send food back? No. I'm going to go back at this. Uh, yeah, this is another winner right here. All right, I just found out that my Spanish is not as good as I had hoped it would be. You'd think all the time I spent in the Dominican, I would have got it better. But you got to try this place, Carnitas uh, This, These were super friendly people. They understood that my Spanish was less than perfect. They helped us with the menu, and yeah, it smelled incredible in there. So uh, we just picked up a bunch of stuff. We're going to go eat it. I'll, when we find a place to sit down, because this is takeout only, uh, We'll show you what we ordered, but uh, super friendly people. Smelled amazing in there. I already have a really good feeling about this. 
All right, bit of a windy day, so it's hard to set this up for a better view. But she smells great. The sauces look amazing. In here we got uh, a few queso and a few pork. So we're gonna, yeah, let me grab one of these. This one is, not even sure, but we're gonna eat it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the doradas. Uh, like I said, we got set up here on this little piece. So, put some lime on. Yeah, there we go. Dip it in the sauce. Put it in my face. Mm. and the flavor. Let's get back in there. Mm. Mm. So good. Yeah, and this guy, that's what they're famous for. That's almost a pound of pork in there. They got the carnitas tacos. Ooh, let's unwrap this guy. This thing is so full. Hopefully I'm getting everything in the screen. Look at this. You can barely tell that there's a taco in there. All right. So we'll grab a little bit of this. A little more of this. Oh, and then I'll pick that up after. I can do this, I swear. I've eaten before, I promise. There we go. It's nice that they double wrap this. Oh man, look at this. That's awesome. Mmm. Mmm. God. Mmm. 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 Damn. Oh. No words. No words. Mmm. So we hopped an Uber over to Chinatown here in Chicago and it is a bumping place. Apparently all of Chinatown encompasses like 30 blocks, but we're kind of in the heart of it. It's like a, a little shopping center, lots of boutique stuff, tons of bubble tea, little waffles and goofy little toys and let's buy some chopsticks and some walks and a bunch of other stuff. Lots of good food, lots of good smells. Around here, what else do we got? Uh, buy some gold, buy some tea. We're on the lookout for some dumplings. I would love some dumplings. Fried dumplings, soup dumplings, wonton dumplings, don't care. Let's do this. All right, so we found where we're looking for, and she's busy. I ain't gonna have to try to pronounce it, but that's it. So if I was to try and pronounce it, it would sound like... Well, that was actually pretty quick. The dumplings showed up in about five minutes. So... These are lamb and dill, and these are... I don't even remember. I want to say zucchini and mushroom. I'll go in here. Ooh, yeah. Made myself a little bit of... Garlic chili oil and soy sauce. These are backwards. These are backwards. So I'm gonna go over here. Grab mine. Dunk it in the sauce. And try again. That tastes much better than vegetables. It's just too bad they labeled the vegetarian ones wrong. Well, 
very good. I like them. So nice and clean. Even the rolling station for all the dumplings. Look at these, they're putting them up fresh. Yeah, this is how. I miss this kind of food. You know, when you're traveling, you know, when you're landlocked, kind of the way that we are back home in Alberta, uh, not everything is good, gets to you the freshest. You know, we're not by any water, that, uh, transportation water. But then you, as you travel, you get places that can get all the freshest foods. So there's never any preservatives, nothing like that. You just, you just get the food and the flavors and all the different culture that comes with it. This is what I love about traveling for food. Hey, hey, next stop we are at Garrett's Popcorn. If you've been on any kind of food blog, vlog, vlog, frog, I don't know, but you've heard about Garrett's. They've got the best popcorn apparently in America. Even Oprah thinks so. so I'm gonna try, actually, I'm lying. I've already tried it, but I'm gonna try it again in a much bigger format. So here we go. To order some of these beautiful flavors here. And if I remember correctly, what you're supposed to order is the cheddar and the caramel. Yeah supposed to combine the cheddar and the caramel flavors. I know that sounds weird, but it's the one that everybody loves. So it's gonna happen. So this is what's being made up. They shake up, it's called the Garrett Mix. It's cheese corn and caramel crisp. I know it sounds odd, but it's actually awesome. Turns out there's just enough time to make another pizza stop before we take off and this time it's Gino's East Apparently I would have been missing out if I did not stop here before I left so in we go All right, so figured it was a good idea to start with something other than pizza Just Gonna hit the salad first. I know I know don't get mad don't leave comments or go ahead leave comments but i need i need some of this right now because it's hot outside it's 30 celsius which is like 90 91 fahrenheit it's warm i'm gonna need a little bit of salad you can unsubscribe if you don't want it i promise it won't happen again This is a cornmeal style crust. Smells amazing. You can see it came out super hot. I think I'm gonna have to eat this one with a fork, I'm pretty sure. Definitely a fork in this time. I guess that's only cheese. I'm trying to get some crust in there. So that was Gino's East. Um, how would I rate that? Well, I'm not actually going to give it a rating. I'm just going to compare it to the other three. So the other three, too hard to pick a number one. Uh, what I will say about Gino's, the flavor is great. Everybody in there is super polite. Uh, very nice there. Uh, I prefer to pick up my pizza. Your, ours in particular, and you really needed to use a fork and a knife. So that would be my only, uh, if I had to do a deduction, that would be what it is. You know, I don't like to use a fork and a knife to eat pizza. Otherwise, you're not going to be unhappy if you go in there for food. So, you know, if you don't make it to the other ones or you're deciding whether to try Gino's East, definitely thumbs up you, know, you got to try it it's 
there's a reason it has a good reputation. So, uh, and on the other side, it wasn't super busy in there, but that was probably the longest it took to get a pizza by probably an extra 10, 12 minutes. But I mean, when you're going for deep dish, you're not trying to rush anyway. So maybe that isn't the quantifier for you. I just, like I said, I'm gonna be completely honest whenever I do these reviews. So yeah, all in all, definitely a thumbs up for Gino East. All right, all right, it's six in the morning. Uh, leaving Chicago today, I'm at O'Hare Airport uh, really early. Sorry I look like this, sorry I sound like this, but it is what it is. Uh, wrapping up the five and a half day trip to Chicago, and uh, yeah, love this place. You know, if I had to give a summary, great people, great food, great architecture. Um, always, it's always a positive experience when you come here. Chicagoans uh, are some of the best people I've met anywhere in North America. Um, I'm going to sound like a broken record already. It's, I just love this city. Uh, it was very nice to be able to go on a deep dish pizza hunting tour. Sorry I couldn't be more ranking this when it came to figuring out which ones were the best, but they were all great. Uh, I, don't, I don't like picking a best when everything is top-notch so that was all very good a lot of the other food was great you have uh, a place like the chicago athletic association that hotel has to be one of the coolest buildings that you can stay at as far as a hotel pretty much anywhere in the world and i had a blast there so so this is going to wrap up this tour thanks for watching this video appreciate when you tune in to see the travel portions or any other portion of the channel so for now I'm gonna get some food maybe have a little bit of a nap before my flight so for now I'm out <laughs>